uniquely American thing that he's going to run under protest. And I think that's what the crowd wants to see. And here's a situation where the crowd just wants to see him run. Right. They don't care about what the official results are. And maybe when it's all said and done, the official results will indicate. Well, we know they're going to indicate that Noah Laws was disqualified. But they still want to see this matchup. And on a different stage, when it matters for a national championship or a berth on a world team or a berth in the Olympic Games, play by the rules. Let's, let's give the fans what they want, and they want to see Coleman versus Lyles, and they're going to get it here. So that can either really rattle you or it can incentivize you. We'll see which one it does for Noah. And this time they get her away. Coleman a step ahead of Lyles, and he gets that top end speed, but he's not going to catch Coleman, and he delivers a quick one, sub 650. It won't be the <laughs> fastest time in the world this year because Trayvon Brumel ran 642 yesterday, but Coleman likes that. They've had a bit of a rivalry, he and Lyles, and that rivalry continues here. Lyles just off his lifetime best as Travis Williams finishes third in 659. Yeah, this was a great run by Coleman. It's a facility record, and he was never really troubled because Noah did not get a good reaction to the gun and just ran out of track. So Coleman will go back home thinking, okay, I think some of my mojo is back. I didn't have a good year last year, certainly not outdoors. But if he's running 6-4, he's looking more like the Christian Coleman that we're used to seeing. The world record is 6-34, and you see him gesturing as if to say, I'm not done just yet. <laughs> 